Welcome back to Cardades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series that's kind of sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at the difference between syntax and semantics. We're also going to be doubling up for a three-minute philosophy video. So, in language, the terms syntax and semantics can apply to several different fields, including linguistics, computer science, and philosophy of language. There's some commonalities to the meanings of these terms in different contexts, and there are some differences as well, which we're going to explore here. What we're going to focus on in this video is kind of what those disparate fields have in common when they're saying syntax and semantics. Let's take a look. So, the syntax of a particular language is its grammar. They're the rules for what kinds of of words, parts of language, or vocabulary you can put in what order. In English, for example, you cannot simply put four nouns together and call it a sentence. Horse bag, tomato teeth isn't really a sentence. In mathematics, there are rules for the order that symbols can be put together in. For example, equals seven plus eight is greater than is incorrect syntax. There is a syntax to something like predicate calculus as well, since or P for all S and close bracket, close bracket, close bracket, close bracket is incorrect syntax. So syntax basically is the rules of the language in terms of grammar. And just because a particular string of vocabulary may be incorrect syntax for one language, that does not mean that it's incorrect for another. Car on part might be incorrect syntax for English, but car on part could be correct syntax for French. And this has some greater applications to kind of formal languages, which interpret individual sentences in different ways and deal with different syntaxes over the same string. Semantics, on the other hand, refers to the meaning of the vocabulary in a sentence. One of the principal areas of study in philosophy of language, in fact, is theories of meaning, or semantics. Just as languages have a grammar or syntax, they also have a semantics or a meaning. For example, in English, it might be correct syntax to say the puddle runs Greenland forcefully, because we've put all the nouns, verbs, and adverbs in the right places, but there's not a clear meaning to those words. In some generic computer language, perhaps, it might be correct to write int x equals, in quotes, reptile, but it's incorrect semantics, since for most computer languages, it wouldn't mean anything. However, semantics that does make sense or contains some meaning doesn't sometimes require correct syntax, especially in languages like English. Many people that speak English do not do so with perfect syntax, yet they're able to communicate perfectly well. Me, I'm having the best time, is not proper syntax, but you can understand what is meant by it. Check out the video coming up soon on formal languages for more information on syntax, semantics, and other properties of languages. Also check out my series, The Four Puzzles for Philosophy of Language, if you're into philosophy of language. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.